did you know that you are tuning in for my 800th video? I am so excited. I can't believe I have done 800 videos. That's crazy. Um, wow. Yeah, my first one was back in 2007. And you might be wondering, well, what's the significance of doing your 800th video on e.l.f. brushes? And I will tell you, that was my very first video, was a review on e.l.f. brushes. So I thought, wouldn't it be fun to kind of remake that or update it, finally, this many videos later, and uh, just give you some new information kind of in honor of that very first video where it all started. Hey, everyone. Hope you're all having a great day today. I just wanted to give you a quick review on some products from... Elf. I'd like to think maybe some things have improved since then. If nothing else, maybe the video quality, but... <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you so much for supporting me. I would not have done 800 videos if it hadn't been for the amazing um, video ideas, just all around support and love. I want to hug you like there's my hug to you. <laughs> and thank you so, so much for everything you do, um, whether it's just watching a video, sharing your love and your positivity. I mean, it goes both ways, and I really appreciate you um, so much. So thank you for that. Um, I also thought I might point out um, what I'm wearing on my eyes today. I did something a little fancy with the liner. I did, I don't know if you can tell, it's real subtle, but I took a little bit of like so hot pink eye liner and I went on top of my black liner there on the wing and I also dug out my uh, Too Faced Summer Eye palette and I just kind of used um, some of this shade and some of the pink and just real softly kind of blended it out. Um, nothing major but I just I'm trying to work in a little bit more color. I've been wearing a lot of neutrals and you know that's fine because I love them but I'm trying to get back into my colorful shades and on my lips I'm wearing my um, Milani lipstick and fruit punch. This was the one um, I don't know if it was last week or the week before I remembered seeing Nicki Minaj on Idol and I was like her, she's wearing fruit punch like it looks exactly like that color and I've got all these um, lipsticks like swatched and shown on me on my blog if you're interested in that so um, on to the point of the video um, we're talking about these elf brushes I'm gonna share my favorites and it's not so much um, like I'm trying to give you an all-encompassing brush video here like this like all the brushes I mentioned could be your full set or anything like that. Um, but they're just some individual brushes that I really like and you might see one and think, wow, I can plug that into my current brush set and it'll serve a, a special purpose for me, let's say. So um, I'm gonna start off with a couple of the $1 brushes. And if you're not familiar with e.l.f. at all, you know, you can find some things at like Target, let's say, or different stores, you know, Kmart I've heard carries some e.l.f. but um, it can be kind of spotty in the stores as far as selection, so the full selection is at eyeslipsface.com. And that's another reason why I thought this would be a helpful video to do again, because you can't always, you know, when you're seeing brushes on a website, you can't touch them. So um, this way you can maybe get a better indication of what they're like. But the first brush I want to talk about is the e.l.f., um, and this is called the Professional Eyeshadow Brush. So it's a $1 brush, and I use this today for my my look and it's just a great basic flat eyeshadow brush. Everybody needs just a flat shadow brush. It's great for packing the shadow um, on your eyelid. It is nicely tapered here so you got some shorter bristles there leading up to um, some longer bristles up in the middle. It's got a nice kind of dome to it. Good shape for the eye. I mean you can see about how it fits on my eyes so very nice for packing on shadow. Um, really soft, dense. I mean for a dollar. This has gone through many cleanings, has not lost bristles that I could tell, and um, still is staying in great, you know, constructive shape. I know here. I've talked about other great inexpensive brushes like the Target Up and Up brand has a couple of great eye brushes, but I mean, you really can't beat just a dollar. So um, that's the e.l.f. Professional Eyeshadow Brush. And then alongside that, another great one is the Eye Crease Brush. So this one looks like this, and it looks like a rather small brush, and it is. And I, again, used this in this look, um, used it for my crease shade, and it's a very small, 
compact crease brush, but you can use it several different ways. I think it's kind of a cross between like a small crease brush and practically a pencil brush. So, um, you know, it's not a ton of bristles in here, but the fact that this is a small brush is what makes it special, in my opinion. I would actually kind of compare it to a brush that I love from es Essence of Beauty, um, and this is the Fine Crease Brush. That kind of thing gives you a lot of control when it comes to maybe building up an outer V and getting the shadow right where you want it, and then you can take your big fluffy brush and buff it on out, but this really gives controlled application. If you've got small eyes, if you feel like all the other brushes are too big for your eye, this one and this one are very good options and again it comes to kind of a point so um, you can definitely smudge right underneath and have a good amount of control there too so a total of two dollars I think those are two great brushes. Now some brushes from the studio line and I believe these are all three dollars a piece so a little more pricey but you're getting a little bit more of a brush here as well larger brushes. Um, we've got a, the elf powder brush and this is a flat top brush so it is cut blunt straight across and it's very dense this is pretty large like you look at it uh, compared to my cheek, my big cheek there. Um, <laughs> I got some big cheeks. I don't care. I like it. Um, but you just buff it on in. Um, you can use this with your powder foundations, get more coverage out of them. You can use this with your mineral powders. And again, I just feel like it gives really even coverage and more coverage. So um, it's just a great buffer type style. Um, does anybody use this with a liquid foundation? I have not yet used it with a liquid, but I'm thinking it could be good in that sense too. I am extremely impressed impressed with how soft this brush is. Um, the construction of it is very solid. It's got kind of a decent weight to it actually. This is not an expensive brush, but I mean it can just be great for getting, like I said, if you're feeling like your um, powder foundations aren't quite performing for you, I think a flat top brush is a great way to get the most out of that. Also the complexion brush. Now this is kind of my little jack of all trades brush and when I was um, going to work at the TV station I remember taking this with me there often because I felt this was kind of a multitasker brush. I think it can apply some powder lightly to your face. It can be good for bronzer. It can be good for even blush because it's just not a huge brush. So um, compared like size wise to this one, this one is more pinched. You can see it's pinched right there. So that's why I think it can like it can contour for you because it can become narrow depending on the way you turn it. It can also go circular motions for you. It's got a very nice taper. It's very soft. Um, again, this is probably the, the way I would use this most would be my bronzer or just when I want a little bit of powder. You know, you can kind of blot it on. You can dust it on whatever you feel you need. Now, this one's quite interesting. This is one of my more recent finds and it is the Flawless Concealer Brush. Again, this is from the Studio line and it's very hard to tell on the website when you see this whether or not this is a round brush as it is or if maybe it would just be a flat type brush. So um, the, the ferrule here is not pinched in at all. It's totally rounded and the brush is not cut totally blunt. It's got a bit of a, of a taper right here at the end. But overall, I mean, you look at it, the best way to describe this might be it's like a jumbo eye crease brush, but I love using this for concealer in both the creamy and liquid forms or the powder forms. Today I used this to blend out my MAC um, Pro Longwear Concealer and I thought it did a fabulous job. Like seriously, really nice blend. Um, I've mentioned before liking to use kind of buffing type brushes like this for your under eye concealer because when you use your fingers, sometimes you apply so much pressure you can practically blend away your product. Um, so here you're getting just a very lightweight pressure, but a good blend. So this works for the creamy products. It's also fantastic if you like to use like the Bare Minerals Well Rested or the Bisque products that I've talked about before, liking to set your under eye concealer with that kind of thing because it mattifies, it perfects, it brings up the coverage level a little bit. And so this is just a phenomenal size for getting in there and setting your creamy product with the powder. I mean, and you don't want to 
apply too much powder, obviously, but you just, just for a little bit. I mean, this is a, a great soft brush. I mean, who wants a rough brush up under their eye? This is just really, really nice. So that's called the Flawless Concealer Brush. And finally, um, this might be my favorite, and this one had its own video, like, dedicated to it. It's the e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush. So this little guy is what I use for my cream blush or my cream highlight products. And why is it so special? Well, I think it's special because it's cut shorter than other um, small stippling brushes that I have. Let me grab my Sigma here. Um, here you can see, and I think I've shown you this comparison before, but with this one, the bristles are so long. When they come in direct contact with the skin, they, there's a lot of bend there. There's a lot of give in that brush. Could be good for maybe some other purposes, but when I'm talking creams, look at how this one is. They're so, so short, they remain stiff like that. And so it's just perfect when you're using a cream blush and you just want to dot it on like that or um, you can work in soft kind of circular motions, but this doesn't apply so much pressure that you're gonna screw up your foundation or whatever underneath layer of product you've got going on. I'll go straight into the cream product and then go straight onto my face. Um, if you're working with maybe a product like Benefits High Beam or some of those more liquidy products, I can put some out on my hand, stipple it onto the brush, you got a nice even amount there, and then bam, right on the face. It's so great. With a lot of these other brushes, you know, I may work them in, like when another brush is dirty, I pull out one of the e.l.f. ones, and they're kind of interchangeable, kind of similar to other brushes I have. This one is a real standalone, like the only one I really use for that cream blush, cream highlight purpose. So definitely wanted to mention that little guy. So that's it. Those are um, my favorite e.l.f brushes that I've tried. I haven't tried everything. I don't have one of their like full sets, but I've just, uh, you know, over the years gotten some of their individual ones. And I must say, I'm quite impressed with this little handful that I've got right here. So thank you again so much for watching, for supporting me after 800 videos. You're still around. So kudos to you. Thank you so much. And uh, I will see you again in number 801. So bye guys.